Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on 3D modeling a car in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So we'll be doing a car modeling in 3ds Max. So according to viewers request, I am creating this tutorial. So very first of all, let's go into the Photoshop. As you can see, I have taken a reference of car over here. First you need to match the reference correctly. So let's just match the references accordingly. So once you have matched the references, so we'll be matching the side view and the front view height. We'll be matching the side and the top view as the length. So let's go over here. Select this. Let's check the image size. What's the image size that is? 2500 by 1354 pixels so let's select this right click layer via cut select this go to the main layer layer via cut go again to the main layer select this layer via cut so once you're done, you can even uh, do the stuff for this also. That's your back view. We'll just take it for a moment. So right click, layer via cut. So you need to generate all these references accordingly. So as you can see, I have just cut it. So rest will just off this. Now select this let's just shuffle on top of it let's just place it over here activate the top view let's put it on top of it all right so we have three layers right away over here press ctrl t let's resize it let's go to the top view and see you can just off this so you can see it is perfectly matching over here all right so off these two layers let's go over here go into file save as and save it as top view Let's save it in this way, off this, now we need to match this, okay that's correct, go into file, save as, save it as front view, save as, save it as side view so as you can see over here we have the front top and side view we already taken out a reference so as I told you let's check the image size 2500 by 1354 so let's go into it let's take a plane go into take a reference just for an idea I'll scale it because it's looking very very big so let's scale this go into material let's just assign a reference over here take a material let's take a standard material Go into diffuse bitmap. And into that, 
I'll just take a reference that's your car blueprints so we are using right now the front view so let's just assign a front over here that's correct hope you are not extending it okay let's go into this and let's make it as 90 degree go into the side view press shift and duplicate it press M take another material go into this diffuse go into the bitmap and let's take a side view so we need to take a reference of a side view in this way select this slightly just push this up shuffle it in this way and you can just make this you can flip it so I can just go over here and flip it in this y-axis and make this view as a right view alright so we have just flipped this over here so you can easily just flip it so now uh, again I'll just duplicate it duplicate it let's shuffle this over here so go into the material take a standard material over here let's go into diffuse bitmap and let's just take a top view so you need to adjust it accordingly so this has to be adjusted correctly over here so we have a reference over here correctly now so your front view top view and your side view we have achieved it so now how you can start up is like there are many multiple methods to model a car you can start up with a box also, you can start up with a spline, also you can start up with a plane. If you have any of the parts which are going to be animated, you can make it separately like the bonnets, the door. So whatever elements are going to be animated, we can easily model it separately. So let's start up with a plane. So I'll prefer a plane method. So let's go into the side view and let's just create a plane so once you create a plane you see that on the top view it has to be adjusted accordingly over here and into the front view also you can slightly adjust it so as you can see now my plane on the top is at the corner at the side it is over here correctly placed so let's go over here convert to editable poly press F4 over here select the vertices so this has to be uh, taken care of while you are starting up with any modeling of a car so let's just put one swift loop so adjust it in this way so we can just go with the adjustments correctly and over here we can slightly tilt it from the front if needed so again go over here let's put one more swift loop I'll just put one swift loop over here let's select this edges you can shift and drag to extrude the edges so we can easily extrude the edges 
correctly in this so that can be done select this slightly just push it in this way shuffle it up or you can just drag it in this way right click and let's just weld it in this way so now you see that it's looking very very flat let's select the top edges let's go into the front and slightly we can just drag it in this way and let's push it inside so that can be done in this way so select the vertices and let's just adjust it accordingly select it push it up so we need to follow this correctly so let's go on extruding that stuff over here again select this and extrude it up over here select the vertices and let's weld it so if you press alt and x it's going to give you a wireframe uh, sorry not a wireframe uh, that's a see through mode the transparent mode that can be adjusted accordingly to the needs so you can see through that select this again and let's extrude it extrude it a bit inside you can adjust it definitely will be definitely doing the changes correctly so so let's first save the file let's save our file over here So let's again go into this edges, let's again extrude it, right click and weld it, shuffle it over here. So we have to follow that way, shuffle this, can slightly just make it in a curve. So let's not go in go with a straight part all right so select this part and let's again extrude it over here go over here shuffle it over here in this way place it in this way all right also we need to put over here if you see i can slightly shuffle this a bit up if needed accordingly save the file let's put one swift loop over here so we want to see how it looks like after you just uh, make it smooth yeah looks much better now you can see the reference right from all the views so from where we started so you can just do it in this way
all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so as you can see how we have start up with a reference placing a reference in the max file and adjusting the plane and starting up with the car model so we'll continue the rest of the part the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial